was kind of a, one of those mom moments that you dread forever. And my baby, my firstborn, Travis is leaving today. We will miss him. Things will be different without him around. All right, I should have everything ready. Okay, we made you a list of what we're gonna miss about you. We're gonna miss um, using your laptop. Yeah, I bet you will. I'll always have a pair of socks to find now because uh, you won't go down in my drawer and take and them. Take them. <laughs> yeah. The number one thing we're gonna miss is no one's gonna be able to fix anything around you because you're not gonna be home. Well, yeah, that's a given. Only little things we can. We'll fix. just wait till you come home and just. You guys can't fix anything. You tell me to go downstairs and see what's wrong with the washing machine, and it's usually unplugged. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to cry when he leaves, but I think everybody that I've ever talked to cries, and they didn't think they would, but they do anyway, so I'm totally prepared for that. He's my firstborn. He's my baby. All right. Bye. Love you. Love you, Meg. Love you. Okay, I love you too. He gave me a really good hug, like Daddy was gonna miss us. That was when it really hit me, like, oh, Travis, you're going away. Love you. See ya. It's weird because I realized you're actually leaving, and. It was kind of surreal to me because I thought five months from now, all four of us are going to be doing the same thing. Yeah, we'll come see visit you. Guys. you. Bye. We'll drive we'll up. come visit you for we'll an overnight stay. I want to come see your apartment, we'll so we'll be up you. there. We'll, we will come surprise you. OK. All right. Love you. Love you, Mom. Text me later, OK? OK. All right. Bye. Have a safe trip. Text see me ya. later. Love you. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wave goodbye to him. <laughs>